Hey guys, how is everybody doing? So, last week I made a video on Skyrim and Teller and how to install it and use AI to talk to NPCs. And this video is going to be a follow up tutorial on how to get the very best out of your Mantella software. And in my opinion, the best way to do that is to install XTTS and to have it running using RunPod along with a very well selected LLM. And I'm going to demonstrate that in this video. So when it comes to synthesizing the voice used by Mantella, we have three options. We have Piper, which comes automatically installed. It's the default option. We have XVA Synth and we have XTTS. Now XVA Synth is what was used in the older builds of Mantella. And well, it is good, but I don't think it has the quality that XTTS has. And we're going to demonstrate that now in this upcoming video. I'm the commander of the guard here in Whiterun. I keep the peace and maintain order in this fine city. And you are? You are. Expressing your devotion to the gods, I suppose. Amula of Stendar, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we are able to understand him, but I do think the voice is a little bit tinny and a little bit robotic. So let's compare it to XTTS. Ah, deadly pixels. You look as striking as ever, my friend. And what's this? You're admiring my latest poem? Uh, hey, Mikkel, I haven't heard it yet. Um, would you like to recite it? I'd be delighted to. In days of old, when heroes fell, the Dragonborn did rise. With power and might, he took to the skies. I think it captures the essence of your, uh, aim? Legendary status quite well, don't you? Uh, okay, yeah, that, that was pretty good. Uh, thank you. So wh what are you doing today? Just enjoying the evening atmosphere, my friend. I might strum a few chords on my lute later, if the mood strikes me. And perhaps, if I'm lucky, I'll catch the eye of a lovely lady or two. Now, if you ask me, I don't think there's really any comparison. There is a much larger range of emotion in XTTS, and I just think it feels so much more realistic. Um, so we're going to go on to the guide and what we need to do first is go over to the Skyrim installation section in the GitHub for Mantella and I'm going to leave a link in the description so please check it out. Now once we're on that page, have a look at the Skyrim installation video which I made last week. Uh, it's very important that you have completed this part first before we step on to installing XTTS. And once you have done that, have a look on the right hand side of the page and you will see text to speech written there. And under text to speech, we are going to have a look at the perks that you get from Piper, XVSynth and XTTS. As you can see, it says highest quality for XTTS. And that's why I always choose it over the other two alternatives. Piper, I remind you, is the one which is installed already with Mantella. So if we go over to XTTS, we want to install it externally. So we're going to be running it from RunPod. Now we are going to have to pay to rent a GPU, but this is very important. If we if we do it locally, um, we can't do it on our device, but we have to have a very powerful computer for that. Um, so we're going to head over to runpod.io and we're going to make ourselves an account. Now I already have an account, so I'm going to skip this stage, but I'll leave that for you. Once you have logged in, make sure that you top up. I believe the minimum is $10. So it's not that bad and uh, it does last a while. Uh, I do truly think it's worth it, but uh, I'm getting this part out the way. So you are aware you do need to pay for an external GPU. And once we have a working runpod.io account, we're going to click on this link over here, which is going to send us to the template which has been made for Mantella in runpod.io. And in the screen, we can see a whole selection of GPUs. And now I'm going to choose the cheapest one, which is the RTX 2000. And uh, we're going to select on demand and select one GPU. That's what it comes as standard. And once I have that ready, I can see it's going to cost me 28 cents per hour of gameplay. And I'm going to click on deploy. Now, deploying the GPU takes uh, about a minute, two minutes or so. So I recommend first starting up your GPU in RunPod and then starting up your game. 
Now once your game starts up, you're going to be greeted by the Mantella UI. And the first thing we're going to do is change our model. Now I'm going to change it to one I would highly recommend. It's the same one that BrainFrog uses. It's a brilliant model. And the name of it is Llama 3 slash 70 B. So if you type in 3 slash 70 B or just 3 slash 70, it's going to come up. It's called 3 slash 70 B Instruct. Now this is a brilliant LLM. Once we have this selected, we're going to pop up to the top to text to speech and under text to speech, we're going to change from the default, which is Piper to XTTS. And this will all automatically save. We'll be able to see that on the console. Now this is the last complicated bit under the text to speech tab in the UI. We're going to click on advanced and we're going to need to set our XTTS URL. Now, currently it's set to this uh, IP over here, but what we want to do is head over to runpod.io and you're going to see the pods ID. We're going to need to put that in a URL. So we're going to first go over to the Mantella Skyrim install and we're going to copy this line right here and we're going to paste it into our Mantella UI under XTTS. And this is going to save by the way, so you don't have to do this every time. You'll see it says pod ID. We need to copy the pod ID. So here it is. We're going to control C this and control V it into where it says pod ID, getting rid of the brackets. And now everything is ready to go. So we're going to leave it as it is. And that's it guys. If we have a look at the Mantella console, which is running in the background, you can see all of the changes which have been made, such as changing the LLM, changing to TTS and changing the URL for RunPod. This process might seem quite complicated, but I assure you it is worth it and it gets a lot easier once you've done it a few times. It's also good to note that all of the changes that you made are going to be saved in the Mantella UI, so you don't have to do them again. Good morrow to you, traveler. I am Preventus Avenici, steward to Jarl Balgruf, the Great. What brings you to Dragon's Reach today? Preventus, I've come to ask you, why do you counsel caution to the Jarl? Caution, my young friend, is a trait that has served me and this city well. As steward, it is my duty to ensure the stability and safety of White Rot. The dragon threat is real, to be sure, but we must be wise in how we proceed. But the dragon threat is real, and we need to meet it. You would have the Jarl abandon his allies? The dragon, yes. A formidable foe indeed. But I must consider the bigger picture. The bigger picture? What could be more dangerous than a dragon? Politics, my friend. The Empire, the Stormcloaks, the Thalmor. So many factions vying for power. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please consider liking and subscribing. I post content like this quite frequently. Also have a look at the links in the description for my Discord and for the Mantilla Discord. If you like this kind of content, check out BrainFrog. He is an absolute genius when it comes to coming up with uh, ingenious ways of using this software. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.